my name's Maddie. I'm on the UBC women's rugby team. And we were playing against Calgary. In the game, I was tackled by one of the Calgary girls from the side. She slipped under and knocked my knee out. I fell to the ground immediately in a lot of pain. There was a doctor at the field, and then she helped me and looked at my knee right after it had happened. But it was so swollen that she tried to form tests, but really was like, you're gonna have to wait. Because of my surgery and my injury, I was told I was likely going to develop osteoarthritis. I was hoping that I was gonna be able to come back from my injury and play rugby, but also do all these regular things as I got older. And I felt that if I was already gonna develop osteoarthritis, how was I gonna be able to maintain an active and healthy lifestyle throughout my adulthood. So osteoarthritis is a degenerative joint condition. Um, it is the most common form of arthritis and the really important thing to understand about osteoarthritis is that it is actually a disease. It is not just normal wear and tear of the joint, it's an actual disease process by which the joint starts to degenerate. So one of the most established risk factors for osteoarthritis is a joint injury. The time when we're most likely to injure our knees are when we're between the ages of 16 and 35. And most commonly, those injuries are a result of, of participating in some sort of a physical activity or a sport and recreational activity. And once somebody has hurt their knee at that young age, we know that they have about a six-fold increased risk of osteoarthritis, and that about 50% of them will go on to develop osteoarthritis. I think the biggest challenges I faced after my injury was how do I come back from this, and also what am I doing while I'm recovering? I was really struggling with who I was and my identity, because I knew I was a rugby player, but now I couldn't play rugby. So how was I going to get back on the field as fast as possible and also finding other things to do? I obviously during my recovery couldn't play rugby. I couldn't really go on runs. So what was I doing to make myself feel better and be healthy and less stressed, which I kind of relied on rugby to do a lot. The SOAR program, or Stop Osteoarthritis, is a new knee health program. It's virtually delivered, and basically it is a program that helps people who've had a previous knee joint injury navigate their knee health and reduce their risk for osteoarthritis once they've been discharged from care for that knee injury. As I come somewhat to the end of my rugby career, my goal was always to be an active adult, and I feel that if I continue with the SOAR program and my exercises that I do, that I'll be able to do that in the future. The way that it works is it teaches people how to manage their own knee health so that they can reduce their risk for future osteoarthritis. We know that people that have a knee injury are at increased risk for osteoarthritis, but that increased risk doesn't go away and it can last for the rest of their life. For me, the SOAR program was really personalized. I worked closely with my physiotherapist to create a plan that worked for me. It was the first time that I ever had a physio ask me when I was training, what I was doing on my off days. I felt that really helped me because I'm a very goal-oriented person as an athlete. I could be really honest with my physio if I wasn't meeting those goals and they were very receptive to adjust them to what I could meet. Today I'm not experiencing pain anymore. I'm able to be active in rugby every single day if I choose, and I'm also able to do normal things like go for hikes and walks and running. It really has opened me up to where I was before I had surgery. I would like to tell young athletes that you have control over your injury and that it's not inevitable that you'll develop osteoarthritis. However, if you experience a traumatic knee injury, it's going to take a long-term recovery plan to do that.